Today I wanted to show you how you can create a time lapse of a building being built, just like the ones that have been trending all over social media. We'll start with a final render of a tower as our base, take it into Nano Banana to generate the structural stages, and once we have our frames, we'll jump into Mid Journey to build out the full construction sequence. Let me show you how to turn a single image into a complete AI-driven build-up animation. And this is the render that we're going to be using as our starting point. You can either use a render or a photo of an existing building that you want to showcase. But in my case, I'm going to be using this design that was proposed by our studio for a project. So once you have that defined, jump into Nano Banana. So once you're here in Google AI Studio, head over to Get Started. Then head over to Playground and make sure that you are using Nano Banana. And you can see that we've got this message saying ready to chat. Now you can either click and drag your photo or render into the chat here, or you can go ahead and click on this icon and then upload file. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it right here. And the very first thing that we have to tell Nano Banana is that we want to see an early stage in the construction of this building. And I found out that the keyword that we have to use in order to get a good result, it's the word showcase. So let's go ahead and type it in. Showcase an early stage in the construction of this building. But that's not going to be enough to do the trick. We have to also tell it what we want to see on this early construction phase. So we need to think about how would this look. Let's double check our image. So on an early stage, we probably won't see any glass, any interior lights, and of course, no vegetation. What we would be able to see, it's going to be probably only the metallic columns and beams, a concrete slab, and some scaffolding around the building, alongside maybe some safety nets. So that is what we need to tell Nano Banana. So we can add, show only the black metal columns and beams, concrete slab, and some scaffolding, green safety nets. But in order to animate this accurately, we need at least three to four images showcasing each stage, meaning that we need less slabs being built or even an earlier construction stage. The good thing about this is that we can continue from this image. So we can type in showcase just two build floors with scaffolding. Now the keyword here is the word just. It's gonna work better than just to give it a number. It really doesn't matter that you mention how many floors, for example, I've typed in two, but the word just, again, is a keyword here. Now, this is our third image, and I actually just want the ground floor now. So I'm going to go with showcase only the ground floor, remove the rest. And this is what we get. This is good enough. Finally, we need to see an empty lot. Okay, so this is going to be our first frame, an empty terrain few floors built. Next up, we have some scaffolding with safety nets as we grow in height, a lot higher now, and our final result. But before we animate this, I think we should see some workers here too. So I'm going to be adding them. Add workers. If I add the word some or many, it's going to be either too few or too many. So let's just leave add workers. And this is exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and download all of the images. So this is the first frame. Now for the second frame, I would also like to see some workers. Therefore, I'm going to download this image, upload it here, and type in add workers. Okay, great. So this is our second frame. Third one, fourth, and our final result, which I don't need to download. Once we've got this, let's head over to Mid Journey. All right, so once we are here in Mid Journey, the first thing that we have to do is to upload all of the images that we have created so far. For this, you can click on this button where it says Add Images, and you can actually add them all at once. As you can see, I have already added them myself. You just need to go ahead and click on Upload a file, select all of your images, and click on Open. Once you have uploaded all of them, press on this X icon. And the first thing that we have to do is to figure out which one goes first, right? Obviously, we need to pick them in order. And Me Journey now supports the starting frame and the end frame. Therefore, I'm going to be choosing this one. And then I'll be selecting this other one, which is the image with the three floors built. Now we need to think about the prompt. If we just go ahead and write something like workers working or something vague like that, we are going to be having some 
very funny results. Like for example, this one right here, where the building has only been dragged in, already built. We need to avoid that. So again, we have to be a little bit careful about our prompt. And what I mean by careful is that we have to add some detail to it so that it makes sense. We can use something like workers placing columns and beams. For example, you don't build a slab first. That doesn't make sense. You need to actually have the beams and columns ready. After this, we obviously need a time lapse for which I'll go ahead and type in construction time lapse. Once we send that one away, we can go ahead into add images again. And now instead of the first frame, we have to pick the second and third frame. We can use exactly the same prompt. After you're done with frame two and three, you can go ahead and pick frame three and four. And last but definitely not least, we need frames four and five. We can use exactly the same prompt for the first three videos. So workers placing columns and beams, construction time lapse. But for the last one, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because we want Mid Journey to put some creativity into it. Because if we take another look at our images, for example, this one, you'll see that the building is basically done. No further columns or beams need to be added. And as I've just mentioned, we need to give Mid Journey a little bit more of creativity. And the way that we can do that is by reducing the amount of detail on our prompt. So in this case, we can go ahead and just type in construction time lapse. And that's it. We are ready to check out our results. And here's the result for our first stage of our time lapse. As you can see, we have managed to create what we wanted, which is the placing of beams and columns first. And then obviously the slabs come last. And for our second frame, basically the same thing happens. Columns are beams are placed and then the slabs. And for our last step, where we need the scaffolding to be wrapped up practically, we have this other result where we gave Mid Journey a little bit more of freedom. Finally, I would suggest to create a very short video of the final result. In this case, I just typed in slow zoom in and people walking naturally. Now, the only thing left to do is to join all of these clips together. And in my case, I usually use DaVinci Resolve. Okay, and once in here, the first thing that you wanna do is go to the edit tab. On the edit tab, we are going to be having this timeline right here in which we have to drag all of our clips. One thing that you have to make sure is that all of them are numbered correctly. One, two, three, four, and five, for example. Now select all of them, click and drag. And then you have to click on the play button to see how this looks. As you can see, we have these two black stripes going on on each side and we have to get rid of them. One way of doing that is by going into the project settings on the bottom right corner. And first of all, I'll be using the use vertical resolution option. Then I'll change this to 1080 by 1350. Next, I'll be jumping into the image scaling tab and underneath input scaling, I'll change this to scale entire image to fit. Now click on save. And I still have these two black strips at each side, but if you want to fix that, make sure to go ahead and select the correct timeline resolution in here. Mine's a little bit smaller, but I'm not going to be worrying about it. Now, once you have all of these settings done, you can jump into the deliver tab on the bottom bar. If you want to save this on a specific folder, go ahead and click on the browse button then click on add to render queue and finally click on render all. And this is our final result. And that's how you can turn a single render into a full construction time lapse using Nano Banana and Me Journey. It's a simple workflow, but it creates those super satisfying build-up visuals you've probably seen online. If you want to dive deeper, you'll find the original render, a detailed prompt breakdown, and all the frame stages available on my Patreon. Make sure to subscribe for more AI experiments like this. Thanks for watching.